G'day, mates! How you going? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another episode of Wonders from Down Under. I've already talked about marsupials before, but now it's time for me to talk about monotremes, mammals that lay eggs. And our first contestant for monotremes is the short-beaked echidna, sometimes called the spiny anteater. Let's go! The short-beaked echidna is found in southern New Guinea, all of Australia, and on Tasmania, and they can be found in a wide variety of habitats, from rainforests, to deserts, to snow-covered mountains, even cities, even though their camouflage can make them hard to see. A fully grown short-beaked echidna usually weighs 2 to 5 kilograms, or 5 to 11 pounds, and is 30 to 45 centimeters, or 12 to 18 inches long. Echidnas are covered with spines along their backs, and when threatened by predators, they'll curl up into a ball with their spines covering them, hence why it's sometimes called a spiny anteater. Echidnas eat ants and termites, and they dig into an anthill or termite mound with their long claws and then lap up the ants or termites with their long, sticky tongue. Echidnas are extremely good diggers and use their four claws to dig for their food and to dig burrows for themselves and they often dig to seek cover from predators. When a predator attacks, the echidna will dig, shielding its belly with its spines. As I said earlier, the short-beaked echidna is a monotreme, so it, along with the platypus, is one of the few mammals that actually lays eggs. And they usually lay about one egg at a time and the egg develops in the body for 21 to 28 days and it is incubated by the female, hatching about 10 days later. A baby echidna is called a puggle. The puggle will then be raised in a burrow and it measures about 1.5 centimeters or 0.6 inches at birth and subsequently feeds not on a nipple but on a patch of skin that secretes a rich milk allowing the female to leave her offspring alone for up to 10 days. An echidna reaches maturity at probably 5 years, although it may not breed until 12 years, and the short-beaked echidna can live to be 45 years old. Although the IUCN Red List classifies the short-beaked echidna as least concern, its numbers are declining, and it's mainly due to habitat loss, collisions with vehicles, and of course, introduced predators such as cats or foxes. And it has become extinct in parts of its range. There may be as many as 10,000 short-beaked echidnas left in the wild. Well, that was it. My Wonders from Down Under episode on the short-beaked echidna. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.